And welcome back, citizens one and all, to a little more Park Beyond. Let's talk terraforming. There's a couple of options here. Pull, push, flatten, flatten to slope, smooth terrain, rough and terrain. Pretty cool options. Let's start with pull terrain. So you can you can have a, a fall off here. So 0% fall off would mean like you pull the whole thing. Whereas 100% fall off would mean it would just be a little hill. The intensity of this pull as well would be quite different. Like you can have zero fall off and zero intensity and it would just do a very slight impression like very smooth to work with you can shrink the weight radius down and you can do really small changes like that and then if we put the intensity all the way back up here it would immediately just make a little subsection so you can pull the terrain any way you want we're going to go back to the bottom here and do restore terrain which let's max the radius max the fall off and it would immediately restore, actually lower the fall off. So it, it would immediately restore the terrain perfectly to what it had been previously. So next is push terrain. And in a very similar way, you can immediately push the terrain and with the fall off, it's gonna change that intensity to a degree, but then you lower the intensity and it's gonna be very, very slight. And with 0% fall off, you could Hold this here again and make a nice, smooth impression. Nice and slow. And then you come through to flatten the plateau. We could take this edge we just did and we can level it out like that, you see? Uh, let's get the intensity on that one. There we go. See, you can really drill into that right there. Try not to make a dick by accident. Let's uh, throw that all back. Okay. You can just simply put it back to normal like that. So let's pull terrain a little bit. We can just mess with it. And then we would want to flatten the plateau up here. As you can see, that smooths it and rounds it. And again, 0% intensity. We have a much smoother process. I almost recommend working with 0%. So... Flatten to slope would be the same. Let's crank the intensity up to just like 50%. And you would be able to slowly add a nice sharp angle like that. Very cool. And then simply restore. Just like that. And then you can come through here and change what the ground looks like. This is like a cherry blossom look. That's super cool. Tropic grass, flooded soil, rough dirt, smooth limestone, and again with the intensity, take that down to zero and look at the look at the difference there. Very very slow to do that. So I love this option; it really gives you a lot to work with. And again with that fall off, like it's still doing it, but it's almost like you're painting it versus. Zero fall off is it's a very stark and obvious line, so remember that. Then renature again would just purely reset what you had initially. So very cool. And then last up, fresh water. Fresh water. There we go. Is it It's there, it's just... I wonder if it has to fill up. Let's let's lower that a bit. Push that down again. There, yeah, we just weren't deep enough. Let's do one more so we can demonstrate that a little bit better. Okay, that's crazy. But then you would just purely come and add the water in there. And it would fill up nicely. I wonder if we could do, like, underwater rides and stuff. And then to drain water, it would just be... Probably a couple of clicks. Yeah, and then it's gonna slowly dissipate. I have a feeling that drain water is not working as intended. So let's try that one more time. So add water. 
there's a little water there and then drain the water. Same effect, okay, so. Kind of just giving this a second to see if it would restore. All right, I'm gonna have to play with uh, drain water a little bit to see what I'm doing incorrectly. But if anything, you could just throw the terrain and the water goes away. Very cool. That note, that is all the controls on terraforming. So y'all take care. Carry on enjoying Arc Beyond.